someone for that display that you've just seen in London outside of the embassy, for example, someone had to get permission to close that entire street down to set up a microphone, mm. right, and PA speakers and all the rest of it. So how on earth, how the flying flamingo has this been allowed to happen, right, outside of the Israeli embassy, just two days after a terrorist attack in which hundreds, if not thousands, we don't know the t final total yet, have died, have lost their lives. A rally to show solidarity with terrorists, with people that are banned under British law. Hamas is a terrorist organization. It's a prescribed organization. You know, Brit Britain, Risa, is a nation in which referring to someone by their biological sex is viewed as a hate crime, right? But celebrating the yeah. kidnap, rape and murder of Jewish people, that isn't a hate crime worthy of the police getting involved. So, you know, if any British Jews need any help, Rita, I say that they just tell the police they've been misgendered and then the police will be over in a jiffy. That is the bizarre and sick scenario that we in Britain find ourselves in today. So, you know, my heart goes out to the British Jewish community and the international Jewish community because those those scenes, those scenes where women are being flaunted like like ghastly trophies where, you know, you've got elderly Holocaust survivors being herded into Gaza as hostages, or all of the displays of rockets with the Iron Dome Israeli defense system trying to actually keep the Israeli people from being bombarded to death. That, to me, pulls on my heartstrings. And I don't know why anywhere, but especially not this country, this sceptered isle of mine that I am so proud to be from, should be a playground for the what I would call toxic whims of Hamas and Iranian cheerleaders. But that's where we are, Rita. I would love nothing more than to see these people actually removed from the streets because I'm all for free speech, but I am not for the glorification and incitement of terrorism. Because we in Britain, right, are we a country that says you fancy a side of terrorism with your scones whilst you're here visiting Britain? Do we cheer on terrorism? Do our bobbies act so scared that they cower from mobs or like that? No, we shouldn't be. We mustn't be. And it just, it, it, I'm livid, Rita. Honestly, I'm just so angry that this is going on in my country. Darren, Mayor Sadiq Khan has condemned the attack, saying Hamas is a prescribed organisation. What they have done in the last 24 hours in Israel, causing the death and injury of hundreds, is unacceptable and it's got to be condemned, and I do condemn that. We've also got to recognise the history of disturbances in the Middle East. Well, there you go, Darren, he called it unacceptable. But will London landmarks be lit up in the colours of the Israeli flag as landmarks around the world have been, including here in Australia? What is London planning to do to show solidarity with the people of Israel? So, so far, Rita, the only monuments that have been lit up are those in the gift of the Conservative Party. So Parliament, for example, was lit up in the flags of, colours of the Israeli flag. You had number 10 Downing Street lit up by Prime Minister Rishi Sunak. But Sadiq Khan hasn't done anything as far as I can see. I haven't seen any monuments that have been lit up so far. Maybe that'll change. But I actually think, you know, Sadiq Khan he likes a bit of race baiting, Rita. He's been partial to it once or twice throughout his career. And I wouldn't be surprised if he sees a key constituency of his, the kinds of people that we see out in the streets of London celebrating the monstrous attack that took place over this weekend. So I don't count him as a, a true ally of, of Israel. So I won't be expecting anything anytime soon. I've, I would just ask viewers, uh, Rita, to just ask themselves why it is that it's unique to Israel, because any other country in which this happened, I imagine London would be the, one of the first to light itself up in colours in solidarity in which this kind of atrocity mm. had taken place. You know, on 9-11, the world didn't come out in a fiesta for Al-Qaeda's deadly shenanigans that went on there. You know, ISIS in Paris... We didn't see any anyone on the streets for then. 7-7 seven, seven in London, we didn't see a street party going on then. Yet Hamas against Israel, you know, they do what they did. They terrorise 
the uh, Israeli civilians. And in this country, we do not see politicians, especially those on the left, turning this country into one that says we stand with them. Instead, we pander to those who do not wish our country well, who do not wish Israel well. We are playing, I think, the, the role of, of a patsy to these people. And I think that's a real mistake. We have, as I say, rolled out the red carpet for those who loathe us. We've endured threats from those who detest us. And actually, we're starting to coddle the ones who undermine us. And people like Sadiq Khan, politicians like Sadiq Khan, they are useful idiots for these people. That's what worries me so greatly. Darren Grimes, thank you so much for your time today. Thanks, Rita. Have you got what it takes to be a reasoned presenter? Well, send us a short clip of yourself to join at reasoned.uk and we might be seeing you on this very channel very soon indeed.